Welcome to Family Gamer TV. Here we are at Eurogame. We're going to be looking at Forza 5, the Xbox One. I think it's a launch title, maybe launch window. Obviously, you can see here, it looks really nice, really making great use of the Xbox One additional horsepower. But it's really in the simulation and also in the competitive um, aspect of the game that you're never racing just against computer AI. And it takes other players, other players' driving skill, um, and pits that against you and also takes your um, performance online and races that against other players um, while you're not playing. So it has this sort of living, breathing um, race driver feel to it. Here we are setting up our assists. We're going to turn some of these on because we're not that um, hot at some of these games and we'll see how we do on our uh, hot lap around Laguna Seca. Now I played this out at E3 and the thing that struck me, I had some go on, the, on a wheel and a rig, I had to go on a sled version, um, but ironically, the one that impressed me most was playing on the Xbox One controller. So as you can see here, you know, rest your fingers on those trigger buttons for brake and accelerate. But in there is a little force feedback rumble pack. And as you're going around the track, that gives you a real sense of what your, what your grip, what your traction is like when you're hitting that point where the rubber can't still grip the road and it's slipping. You get that juddering feel as you slam on the brakes, going in hard into these corners, trying to leave the braking really late. And there was that real sense of being connected with the game just by that simple addition of Rumble Triggers. And I think for the Xbox One, that is going to be one of the killer features that I'm looking forward to getting. So let's get into our lap as we're um, heading up the straight. That the, the line on the course, as you probably know, that dictates how fast you should be going. Where it's red, that's warning you that there's a corner coming up and there's braking. And for a family, that sort of feedback, that sort of assist is really essential. And I think Forza 5 is a game that my kids could play with all the assist turned up. And perhaps as I get better, at it I'll turn those down and you know get more of a racing put a proper racing experience the um, the left stick um there are we using to race it's pretty responsive I think that's where you probably do lose out to a proper wheel there's just not the sort of level of movement there it becomes quite a digital and you end up, you see there you sort of flicking into the corner rather than a smooth um, steering action and that really doesn't um, bear out in terms of the high end once you've got those assists off you're going to struggle if you're not using a wheel so let's keep it tight around this corner then get the power on as we head out down the straight so this is going to take a you know classic classic course and a classic recreation here in Forza 5 so as our race complete and as we just look at the, the post race um, animations you can see the marked and the scuffed nature of our car that went into that race absolutely pristine so there you go that's forza 5 on the xbox one and um, we'll be back with more footage and more coverage of it as we approach launch um, but until then subscribe to family gamer tv and we'll let you know when we have more videos